Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this reading, I'm using the Crystal Visions Tarot. And I just want to get kind of a snapshot, kind of a bird's eye view of some of the energies coming up for the week ahead. Okay. Okay, so we've got three cards here. And I'm going to start with the middle card this time. And this middle card is going to represent kind of the overall theme of this upcoming week. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got Six of Wands. Six of Wands is one of those kind of overall good kind of positive cards. It can symbolize success and succeeding with something and feeling... I guess more importantly, feeling recognized for something. So feeling like you're appreciated and you're, you know, being recognized for your efforts and your hard work and your talents and your, you know, unique abilities. I feel with this card, what it's really representing for us is that the theme of this week is about achieving what it is that we set out to do. So, um, I don't know if you're the kind of person who makes lists at the beginning of the week of you know what you want to do that week, kind of what your what your aim is or what your goals are. Um, if you are that kind of person, this week you're gonna feel like you're really efficient, like you're you know getting a lot of stuff done, and not only that, but you're able to do things well and do things with feeling and kind of make it count. And it's not about quantity or busyness; it's about quality and um, you know putting in quality effort. I feel um, there's something else about this card that I want to say, but I'm not sure what it is. So I'm going to come back to this card. I'm going to start with, or I'm going to move on to the next card here. And this card represents the beginning of the week. And we've got two of wands. So two wands cards. So the wands energy is, you know, as you can see, it's very fiery, very passionate. Um, there's a lot of energy here. And a lot of this could be that, you know, Christmas is coming and I find that a lot of people tend to be very busy and active kind of leading up to Christmas, doing a lot of, um, you know, things, shopping or preparing for dinners and socializing and stuff like that. Um, but with the Two of Wands, uh, the Two of Wands basically represents sort of that pause in energy where... We pause to take stock of things and figure out where it is that we want to continue putting our energy. Do we want to continue doing the things that we've been doing or do we want to kind of change plans? Um, so in a way, Two of Wands is almost like, uh, like taking a little bit of a break. So if you've been very busy um, lately, if you've been doing a lot of stuff, allow yourself to take a little bit of a break at the beginning of the week. So Monday or Tuesday, you know, take a day off and take a day to really evaluate and contemplate. So, you know, figuring out, am I, you know, is this worth it what I'm putting my energy towards? Should I change my plans? And I think one thing, especially about this time of year, is we can kind of get caught up in doing busy things that we don't really even want to be doing <laughs> and that maybe aren't even important to us but we're just doing them because we think we're supposed to be doing them so I really kind of urge you at the beginning of the week to really contemplate you know what it is that you're doing and is this important or um, should you change things this year okay so moving on to the last card and this card is going to represent the end of the week We've got the Ace of Swords, and I'm just really noticing how the Ace of Swords has such a contrasting color scheme and energy to the first two cards. So I would say kind of the majority of the week is going to feel, it feels like there's just a lot of passionate energy, a lot of drive, um, a lot going on, maybe a lot of busyness. And with the Swords, it's a cooler kind of energy. It's cooler and it's also much clearer so if you felt like and I think sometimes when we're busy and we're doing a lot of stuff um, we can get distracted and we can get overwhelmed or just kind of 
kind of like we can't really see clearly, you know, we're going from one thing to the next, doing, 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 and, and figuring stuff out. But then as you get to the end of the week, there's clarity with the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is about a new beginning of sorts, but more than anything, it's about taking initiative on something that is really important to you. And you may have, this might be something that you've been putting off for a while or something that you've been kind of thinking about. And by the end of the week, you're gonna feel ready to take action on that thing. So this is about taking, an, taking a first step towards something. And it could be a really big step, or it could be, you know, it could be something that takes a lot of courage to do. Um, or it could be like a very small, small thing that doesn't feel, you know, as much of a big step. But I'm getting the sense that this is about communication. Maybe like there's a letter that you want to write to someone, um, some kind of email communication that you want to send that you've been putting off for a while, or you've been kind of too scared to send. Uh, or, you know, not sure how the other person's going to react. Um, but ultimately, I feel like this card is about clear communicating and taking that first step and the initiative to communicate clearly with someone. So it could be someone that you've been estranged from or you've had a falling out with or someone that you want to reach out to, but you're scared or you feel like they might reject you <laughs> and you might have to kind of take that risk and kind of get out of your comfort zone and step up to the plate with that. So this is really about clear communication with someone that is important to you. And I think um, I think that the cards preceding it, they're about kind of getting to know yourself. So, you know, the two of wands is about evaluating things, figuring out what is important to you, where you wanna put your energy. And then the six of wands, this is about recognizing your accomplishments and kind of patting yourself on the back and seeing yourself as successful. And I think that's sometimes really hard to do. I think we're so uh, used to picking ourselves apart, and being critical and thinking, you know, of ourselves as not being enough, or not being good enough or not being accomplished enough or talented enough. And this card is about really seeing your true, unique talents and your accomplishments and really recognizing how far you've come. And I feel like this is about, because oftentimes I would interpret this card as meaning, you know, like getting kind of pats on the back from other people and getting other people's approval and um, praise. But with this card, I feel like this is about giving yourself that praise. So it doesn't matter really what other people think, whether they are recognizing your gifts or accomplishments. This is about how you see yourself in relation to that. So really um, recognizing your accomplishments and your, your talents and all that um, and giving yourself that recognition. And once you get to that place, you're able to um, really find your voice and move forward and communicate clearly because you're you're in a more empowered place where you're feeling confident, you're feeling built up and good about yourself. So that's just a little piece of advice. If there's someone that you want to talk to or something, it might not even be someone that you want to talk to, but it might be a message that you really feel you need to communicate and to get out there. And if you're struggling to do that, especially if you're struggling with confidence, um, you know, take a look at this card and really follow the, the advice with that card, which is, you know, recognizing yourself for your achievements and and your accomplishments and 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 not just that but recognizing how far you've come i think we so forget to do that when you know if you look back at all the things you've learned even just in the past year the stuff you've learned in the past year the new things you've tried then the different things you've done um even if you didn't technically accomplish anything um I'm sure you've actually come a really long way in the last year. Okay, so that has been your weekly tarot card reading. And please feel free to add your own interpretations in the comment section. So, um, and I'd be curious to hear, you know, what you think of the, the shift in color. You know, we've got this red and orange, and then we get to this cool blue at the end of the week. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on what that means for you, because it might be totally different for um, to how I interpret it. <laughs> so I want to um, say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this reading and I hope you found it helpful and have a beautiful, beautiful week. And you can check out my website 
dailytarotgirl.com for tarot reading videos, tips, and more.